Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hope and this is Mission Keto. Um, today's video is just gonna be kind of vlog style. You're gonna hang out with me during the day. Um, kind of a what I eat in a day. I'll show you everything that I'm eating and that's basically it. You just saw what I made for my coffee in the morning. Um, it's a little later. I'm doing the intro a little later because work got away from me. Um, but yeah, and we're about to have lunch now. So I will show you that. I'm gonna have um, my carnitas. But I'm going to do it on the egg life wraps and let you know what I think having it on the egg life wraps. I thought I would try a different way just to kind of let you guys know what I thought. The egg life wraps are a great substitution for things, but let's face it, there's really no flavor at all. So I'm going to try something, but we'll see. Let's see what I'm having today. Well, hello everyone. So Ralphie and I have not been um, out of the house since Monday and today is Thursday. So we are going to go, um, I think, uh, Target. Why did I say that? We're going to go to Starbucks and I'm going to get my iced coffee with almond milk. No classic with almond milk and a couple of stevia. So they will do that there, which is really nice. The almond milk. Um, but yeah, let's get Ralphie. Come on, Ralph. Come on. Let's go. All right. So I have the carnitas in there crisping up. Um, oh, here's the coffee that I got too. Iced coffee, no plastic, two stevia, and some almond milk. Um, I have some chopped, leftover chopped veggies I'm gonna use. I might put some more of those in there. And this jalapeno hot sauce is delicious, by the way. And I love these new squirt bottles. Like, we could reuse these for something cool. Like, because of the nozzle at the top, I can't even open it because I just cut my finger recently. Yeah, like a squeeze bottle. Anyways. So what I'm gonna do, I have a one egg life wrap here. I'm only gonna have one today, but I thought I would pour a little bit of this chili lime seasoning on here. This is from Real, Redmond's Real Salt. This stuff is the bomb. I've tried other chili limes, Trader Joe's and everything. There's no flavor in them. This one is clean. You know you're getting good ingredients and there's a hint of sweetness. So it's a little bit of both. It's so good, but I'm gonna like try to press it into here a little bit. So there's a little bit of flavor going on. Um, I suppose if I was doing dairy, I could melt a little butter and brush it on there, but that's okay. Maybe I'll use some oil, avocado oil spray, but I'll show you it once I put it together. All right, so I tried it two different ways. So I tried just putting a little bit on there without anything, and it stays on there for the most part. We might be onto something here. And then I did spray some of this um, Chosen Foods avocado oil spray on this side, and it stayed as well. So. You, you can avoid doing that. You don't have to put the, the on there. I had tried that first instead of, but wow. So we got a little flavor added to our egg life wraps. Okay, so here it is once it's put all together. My lettuce has officially turned brown, so I'm not gonna put it on there because I would just be gross. It would not look appetizing. Uh, but that's what's for lunch today. I'm pretty excited about it. I'll let you know what I think. Ralphie wanted to say hi. I wanted to share with you the order I just got from Redmond, and he thinks it's a bark box. Right? You see his face? It's not a bark box. He's so cute. Just Andy and I say that we have got our very own live stuffed animal. That's what he looks like to us. Like a little teddy bear but i did get an order from them and i paid with it and everything it is ours and i wanted to share it with you guys because it's always fun to see what other people get and and let me know if you've tried any of these things but i got something kind of funny to me um <laughs> here it is like right at the top uh, there there was an amazing deal for me to get this big huge this thing's heavy of their salt we will not need salt forever but it is 10 pounds but what was kind of neat with it and the reason why I there were two reasons why I got it it was like some kind of a bundle and it came with this bucket I don't know well there is a lid so I guess you can put the salt in there if you want I don't know if I'm going to use this it might be broken anyways it's all messed up but it also came with some little stickers. No, I didn't buy the whole thing. But look at these little stickers that came with it. And I guess you can put them on the bucket. But I want to put this one on my laptop. Because I put so many stickers on there. Especially of like all of the 
companies that I work with when I get a sticker from them. I think that's really cool. So I got that, got another one of these. Every time I place an order with them, I get one of these because I wanna just continue to have plenty for Andy because he really loves this. This is the organic season salt and it's got their ancient sea salt, garlic, everything's organic. So I'm not gonna say organic 500 times. Garlic, onion, coriander, mustard, celery, seed, black pepper, paprika, turmeric, and parsley. So he just loves it. There's something about this that is so, so delicious. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I got some more pre-workout. And I think I'm trying a different... No, this is the same one, peach mango. So um, it's kind of like the seasoning with Andy. I want to make sure I always have it in stock and I don't want to run out, right? And then last but not least, this is like healthy, like self-care kind of stuff. I They had some of this stuff on clearance. So I was like, clearance? That's my kind of thing. So the first thing was um, earth paste. This is their toothpaste. It's a mineral toothpaste, spearmint, um, simple ingredients, cleans, polishes, whitens. Um, it has directions on it in case you don't know how to brush your teeth. But no, that's funny. But it's got water, bentonite clay, xylitol. So there's a little bit of flavor in there so you don't have, you know, Nano Silver Solution Sea Salt Spearmint Essential Oil Menthol Tea Tree Essential Oil. So very interested in trying this because, you know, when you get like earthy stuff like that, we're so used to like the store-bought brand, Colgate, Crest, all that stuff, Aquafresh. This is going to taste so different, I'm sure. So I'm excited to try that and it's clean. And then I love charcoal masks and they had one. It's a silver charcoal clay mask a mint one calms, smooths, and clarifies. I love that. And this is like when you put it all over your face and you let it dry and it's either like it turns, it kind of like when you do this to your face, it kind of crackles. So funny. But I just love how that feels. So you just put this on, you know what? It's got a lot of stuff that the toothpaste has, <laughs> except it's also got activated charcoal, peppermint oil, Rosmarinus officinalis extract and tea tree oil. So yeah, I can't wait to try this. Um, it says it increases circulation and helps draw bacteria, chemicals, dirt, and other toxins to the surface of the skin, helping you achieve a beautiful, clear complexion. And see, I have an imperfection on my face right now. So I'm gonna use this. I'm excited to use this also during my cleanse, but I really love charcoal masks. I don't know why. But yeah, there you have it. That's my order. Of course, I'm going to tell you, I do have a code if you want to share, you know, save a little bit of money. Um, it is a way that you can help support my channel too. I appreciate it so much when you guys use my codes. I can't thank you enough. When I log on and see that someone used it, I literally do like a happy dance every time. And I yell for Andy, like, guess what? Someone else did. That means the world to me. So Thank you so much. I know it's times are tough right now and it is a lot of work to do this channel and um, and both of us work full time too. So just um, just being thought of in that way when you're going to buy something you would normally purchase anyways, use someone's code. And if it's not mine, somebody's because it does help somebody. But I'd really like you to use mine. <laughs> but anyways, um, that's it. I think I'm going to get ready to work out now. All right, everyone, so I just got done working out and it was awesome. I did the same workout that I always do, almost always do, and I burned more calories today. I don't know why, I just love that. Just, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, so, <laughs> this could be controversial for some. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm. This is a completely vegetarian meal here, but the protein that I'm using is tofu. You could certainly substitute shrimp, chicken, whatever you want. Ralphie, I will feed you in just a minute, okay? See, he's kicking his dish around because he's hungry. Um, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to saute this on the stove top and get it nice and brown. I will show you that after it's done. All I'm gonna do is put it, cut it up into chunks, kind of like this right here. Um, put a little bit of avocado oil in it and just saute it until it's super browned on the edges. I just love it like that, almost crispy. And I'll probably season it with some of Andy's favorite seasoning. Um, but I'm gonna use these vegetables. This is, um, I got this at Costco. It's a vegetable melange. 
fire roasted. They're already cooked. We're just gonna kind of reheat them. But I'm gonna do it in the air fryer. I'm gonna do it with the already cooked tofu in the air fryer. I'm just gonna put it all together. And it's kind of like a sheet pan meal, but in the air fryer. But you, like I said, I'm using this because I'm not gonna have any chewy pieces I'm gonna run into while I'm eating. <laughs> and, and it's still good. I mean, there's four and a half fat grams per serving, three total carbs. There's four and a half servings in this container. Um, I might eat about half of this, to be honest. I'm gonna eat more than a serving, most likely. I'll probably eat more of that than this. But I'll show you what it looks like after, and I'm probably gonna spray the vegetables with a little bit of that too, just to kind of help crisp it up a little bit more. So I'll show you maybe about halfway through, or right before I put it in, I'll show you how crispy I like to get those. All right, here's my dinner. I know looking at this, it does not look like the most delicious thing, but I'm excited for it. Not so excited about the Brussels sprouts, I will say. Mm. But the tofu and the onion, even though they're cooked, um, and the mushrooms, I love mushrooms. So yeah, this is what I'm eating tonight. I'm not gonna do a taste test for you guys because I mean, it's tofu and vegetables. I love it. I already know I'm gonna enjoy this. So let me know what you're having for dinner. Mm -hmm. All right, so dinner was delicious. I have to say that it's probably the weirdest thing I've ever eaten. And there was a time when I would not have eaten those vegetables like that. It's just weird as you get older, things change, your tastes change or whatever. And that was so good. <laughs> I was so happy with that. Um, so all in all, I had a really good day today, like a really good day with work. Um, everything was just working out. I'm just finding that if um, I'm feeling un like settled about work stuff, I'll literally pray before I have to do something that makes me uncomfortable, you know, like, ugh. but anyways, <clears throat> it's definitely been helping. So work was great today. I had a great workout. Um, I had great food. Those carnitas were delicious. And even on the egg life wraps, the seasoning on there, it helped a little bit. It wasn't a huge difference, but I think it took away from like the styrofoamy taste of it. And I focused more on the taste of the food. So that was nice too. Um, I'm probably gonna have some chia seed pudding for dessert, throw a little bit of um, blueberries in it. And then that is it. I have had a great day. I hope you did too. Let me know down below. Did you have a great Thursday? Because you're going to watch this on Friday if you watch it when it comes out. But thank you again to everybody who watches, likes, comments, subscribes, everything. It means the world to us. And um, yeah, uh, Saturday will be the grocery haul and meal plan for next week. I have one recipe that I'm making for dinner that I just, I, I can't wait. And I think you guys will be so excited too. A dairy-free Alfredo sauce. That's just a little, a little tidbit. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.